Shamgar is not like a household name. He lived 3,000 years ago. He was a farmer and he saved an entire nation with an ox goad. An ox goad is a wood pole with a sharp steel point on the end of it. A farmer with, with a farm tool and he slew 600 Philistines. And after him was Shamgar who killed 600 men of the Philistines with an ox goad. And he also delivered Israel. And he also saved or delivered his entire nation. And I want to talk to you for a few minutes today on the subject of the three success secrets of Shamgar. Number one, he started where he was. He was a farmer. He was not someone who was famous and wealthy or powerful and influential and popular. And he had to start where he was. You have to learn to start where you are. Despise not the day of small beginnings. And so many people say, when I get a big break, when a big door opens, when somebody notices me, but that is not the key to success. The key to success is to start where you are. Secondly, use what you've got. All that he had was something called an ox goat. That's all he had. Stop focusing on what you don't have. What do you have? Shamgar had passion and you don't fight 600 warriors if you don't have some passion. Use what you've got. Your passion determines God's timing. Blind Bartimaeus, Jesus didn't decide the timing of his miracle, he did. His passion did. Jesus was just gonna walk through that community and when he heard Jesus was passing by, blind Bartimaeus cried out, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, be healed and eyes be open. And he was healed. It was the man's enthusiasm and passion that triggered the miracle power of God in his life. Where is your passion? Use what you've got. And lastly, do what you can. Shamgar did what he could. God is not wanting you to do what you can't do. He wants you to do what you can do. You can pray. Prayers are deathless. Are you praying? And don't act like it's the, it's the weakest and, and most pitiful thing that you can do. It's the most powerful thing you can do. Don't give up. In trying times, don't stop trying. A man is not finished when he's defeated. He's finished when he quits, especially when it gets tough, especially when all hell is coming against you. Stand up on your hind feet. Stand right there. God hasn't told me to say so. So I'm going to lift my hands and I'm going to declare victory. I'm going to start where I am. I'm going to use what I've got and I'm going to do what I can and God will do what I can. Successful people begin their success where others let go and give up and say, well, I guess I miss God. If God told you to do it, start where you are.